My name is Sam Leakey. I'm from Inverness in Scotland. Uh, today we're filming at ESA's ESTEC facilities in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. where I've recently started as a young graduate trainee. Now, Rosetta, I think, has played a, a role in getting me here, and I thought I'd tell you a little bit about how that worked. <laughs> so I've studied at the University of Kent in the UK, and I'm studying astronomy, space mm -hmm. science, and astrophysics. Um, so two years ago, at the point of rendezvous, I was studying actually in Canada, and that was when I first became aware again of what was happening with Rosetta, Rosetta Wake Up, the ESA PR campaign. Um, and I became interested, as soon as you saw photos of the common nucleus, of course, I want to know more about this, I want to get involved with this. And on the return to the UK to fill, uh, finish my final year of my master's studies, a uh, big part of that was going to be a research project and I was aware that one of the professors at the university was involved with the research and so I approached him and asked whether he was willing to offer me a research project on the imagery from the Rosetta spacecraft. After a little bit of haggling he agreed and I set to work on NavCam imagery. And that lasted for a year, and that year was just complete bliss. There wasn't a single day of work because working with the imagery was, it was like playing. We were taking these images and I was making a shape model of the comet from the images. And it was just, it was fun. And it was the first time I'd ever felt that, that this work was just fun and enjoyment. And so I was able to do really well because if you enjoy doing something, then it, it flows that you're able to, to work well. Um, and so that was a strong sort of backdrop to my final year of university. Around November in that year, I heard about the YGT opportunities, the Young Graduate Truck Training Opportunities at ESTEC, and I applied. I didn't think much of it because there was so much else to do, so I applied, sent that application off, and then a month later I realised that I had been accepted through the first stage, filmed a video, um, interview and submitted that and proceeded to the second stage and so on and eventually I realised well I've been offered the job and now I'm here um, at the same facilities in which the Rosetta spacecraft was tested and validated I still can't get my head around that and it's gonna I think take me a very long time to get used to that fact um, one of the best things about the work that I'm doing is that I was able to continue in more or less the same field um, there are lots of different YGT opportunities, but this particular one deals with something that's intimate, intimately related to comets, and it's the fall of meteors onto the Earth's surface. And I'm having a lot of fun getting to grips with that. So really, I, I feel like uh, it was the enjoyment of working with the Rosetta data and the fun that I had with that that really triggered in my head this idea that planetary science is something that is for me. Uh, and now that I'm here and I'm finding another area of study that is as fun and as engaging, I can see that, yeah, there's a, there's, I think there's a career path laid out in front of me here as a planetary scientist and I think it's Rosetta that triggered that decision in my mind.